Just to be sure, I am triple vaxxed, but I'm wearing this mask only while I'm inside so people feel more comfortable when they're around me. New York is just so much quicker than Miami. Like, you go to Miami, everything takes a number of hours to do. Also, do I look tan in this light, dude? As I said, when I'm not around people, I did have three shots, so like, I don't know, I think I'm gonna live a little bit. Also, they say apparently the Moderna vaccine that like if you get a third shot, you have significantly more antibodies. So we'll see. Everyone's running. Dude. talk about skateboards man but or skimboard bring your skimboard out skimboarding or surfboarding to each his own Hanukkah decorations you know we have the menorah depending on the size it could be good but look at this Christmas tree stuff everywhere dude and you have this stuff around for like what a month something like a month you know Hanukkah is just eight days but I think we should be able to extend it out a little bit So now we are in Murray Hill. Typically, if you graduate from college or something, you need a roommate. You find that there are a lot of college-friendly bars around here, so people move in and get a reasonable rent for Manhattan, even though it's sometimes not so reasonable. Look for a lot of bros that look like me. Shake Shack needs vegan burgers. I mean, besides that, people seem to love it. Just kidding. I wouldn't disrespect them like that, dude. Right now, we are seeing a lot of people getting tested for COVID. Even though some people have not had their booster yet, it seems like they're worried about the outcome. Follow me. Here, we're experiencing extremely long lines at the COVID testing center. Not sure if everybody's had a booster, but likely all right to assume that they did. What? sometimes do but this is just like straight on the butt you know so I actually looked it up on uh, Wikipedia Murray Hill is situated on a steep glacial hill that peaked between Lexington Avenue and Broadway it was named after Robert Murray the head of the Murray family a mercantile family that settled in the area in the 18th century the Murray farm was formed before 1762 Declaration of Independence, it doesn't even say that, I know that, and existed at least till the 19th century. So here in Murray Hill, we're about on 38th and Park. This is a good place, girls, if you're looking to bunk up. It's like more posh, a little nicer than the bro areas with all the bars, but also if you got a little cash, you know, you move here too, or maybe you go up to, I don't know, 70, 75th and Park, something like this, but down here you get a pretty good bang for your buck in terms of Park Avenue. Jesus over there, right? Uh, Mary probably in the barn. Jesus, the baby Jesus, will go out Christmas Eve. These are the three wise men. The black one is Balthazar and whatever the other two names are. That's Mary. Um, unless that's supposed to be Joseph. Maybe 
maybe they're missing one of the three wise men. Oh, there's one. Okay, so what are they doing with the layer? It's just, it's a shepherd. It's a little, no, no. Shepherd? No, this, this is not, this is not a sacrifice. <laughs> just a shepherd bringing a baby lamb for a symbol of purity. Wow. And I'm Jewish. Yes! So nice. are we! To watch alone, brother! <laughs> what? Oh, this is nicer to sit on. This is chill. This is fine. The reasonable height. And also, you're trying to avoid having the dogs go in here. Instagram tag down below. Here, I would assume that people probably like successful banking people, maybe they work in some sort of real estate. It's like this is kind of a real estate ish area. I feel like there are a lot of real estate offices down in like Park Avenue South area. So I would assume that people who like live in these apartments. Also, some of these buildings used to just be owned by one family, like back in the day, like a building like this. I mean, they added on the top to it. But besides that, just like a building like this would belong to one family. Right after the depression, or actually maybe during the depression, something like this. But there are buildings like that that are just single family that have turned into stuff like that. So maybe that's why I was confused. Like right over here, I think it's the JP Morgan Library, something like that. Pretty sure. Then they have a guy sitting out front. We'll see. I hope there is a guy sitting out front. Pretty sure there's a guy sitting out front. Hopefully he's masked up. I was a legend. He was the first one to let our country know about the Holocaust. <laughs> Alright man, you're a good dude. Enjoy. Good man. Enjoy. Um. COVID testing booth, man. Swear, it's very packed. So garment district is what we're calling this. Uh, 36 and 6 and then up there 34th Street I'd say considered almost the worst street in Manhattan I don't want to be like a negative or Debbie Downer or whatever but it's known by a lot of ooh, be careful pull in don't get lit up by a lot of people to be you know not a great block but we'll see you guys decide let me know because on the more west side you have Hudson Yards and then on the more east side it's like closer to the tunnel to be honest, bro, like I can't even think sitting on these chairs. There's shit everywhere. In a very vulnerable position, dude. Oh. This is the hub, Herald Square. What's going on over there? So you guys all to make the Ted Jones here live on 34th and 7th. As you can see here, there's still a line of people looking to get their COVID test. Have they had their third shot? I don't know, but likely not. Because if you've had your third shot, you have significant antibodies. We're at Madison Square Garden. They took down like the big banner here and then they're also replacing it. So I'm not 100% sure when it's gonna be done, but this place is always packed and busy. You got uh, Penn Station downstairs, MSG where the great Knicks play, where the great Rangers play. And uh, I guess you can see a few concerts here if you'd like. Just stuff like that, don't. I think that I'd say, for the most part, vegans' rationale behind being vegan. Healthier, no cruelty to animals, and then also, I think it's just, I mean, there was a third one, but I'm not, I think those two are pretty good, those two. All right. This block down here, there's like a guy, he checked out my SD card, and one time when we were filming, filmed for like an hour, lost all of it, it was awful. 
But anyway, the rest of uh, the rest of the street doesn't care. They're just looking at me like, why is this guy stopped in the middle of a walk sign? So let's freaking walk. But you'll notice you'll see a lot of scaffoldings in the city, no matter what, no matter where you are. But here, a little bit different because it looks like they're pointing the building, but pointing. I'll put the definition right here. So when you see a building covered like this with cloth on top, it usually just means they're messing with the bricks. So just so nobody, you know, gets hit with a brick, God forbid, it's been known to happen, they try and keep it safe like this. And typically they'll say, oh yeah, it'll be up for six months. And then it's usually up there for two years. You can't really avoid it. If it's an issue, you know, you just gotta handle it. Being vegan, ooh, I do miss that bacon, egg and cheese smell. You smell that? So here, FIT, Fashion Institute of Technology, I feel like every year or something, I've lived here a few years, they paint something that like has a lot of meaning. Ted Jones World. Ted Jones Comedy Show, January dates in this YouTube video. We'll see you guys there. And if we don't see you, you guys check out the Ted Jones World YouTube channel, Instagram, at Ted Jones World. Throw us a like, subscribe, you won't regret it.